let's talk about what you might really use for gaming in the living room. If you... Absolutely, and that is the Valve Steam Controller. Now, this is interesting to me because I, Steam boxes are available for sale now, yes? No. No. Why did I think they were? Okay, so just the controller is well, available. You can build your well, own Steam box yeah, by putting yeah. you know, big picture mode on any PC and hooking right. it up to your television. We're way but past the, the first launch date and the second launch date, and we're at the end right. of the third launch date. But the fourth launch date, I don't know how many launch dates there have been, but the next launch date is before Christmas. And right. they actually are taking pre-orders on two things now. Which is and and the Steam controller is one of them. The Steam controller and Steam Link, 50. which is a, they're both fifty bucks. The Link is a little right. like when you do stream in home Steam Steam in home streaming. About to mm -hmm. get that completely backward. Uh, then it can be a client for that that you can hook up to your TV. Yeah. And then the controller is the little dual rounded touch pads plus yeah. other magic stuff. That the hope is that will let you take a keyboard mouse oriented PC game and using your thumbs with this controller and some magical mapping actually control a game from the couch in a precise way um, that will make it all work. So I don't and know. Has guys, anyone on this team ever used the, the latest iteration? I know there was one that they updated, but... Cyril have... used an early one. He said that it has a pretty big uh, learning curve. And he, he rests in peace. What? Um, but... I don't know. I ordered this. It's they're supposed to have early. I think I got I, like immediately when they opened orders. I ordered one of these. Uh, so I think I'll hopefully have one of the first batch in October. The rest ship in like November sometime. Mm -hmm. So I hope I'll have one and we can review it. Um, I'm really fascinated because the whole Steam box, con box concept to me kind of is predicated on this working. Because I doubt yeah. that lots yeah. of people will have the lap board lap dog thing from Corsair in their living rooms. Um, you need something that's a control scheme and uh this is this is the attempt so jeff you said you're gonna mm. order two did you order them yet no i have long enough way for you to review it first okay yeah i i don't know i that's what i was gonna i was like if this works i want four but i'm not yeah, i'm not it is it is there a I trigger a with this motion here where you i'm looking at the video it's like there's actually a trigger down by your palm and your fingers yeah there's yeah. supposed to be a grip trigger on it they call it i think huh well, I like the in dual addition stage to the regular triggers trigger. for the main ones too. Yeah, right. It's like a, a analog pull in and then a digital click at the end as well. So, and they have mappings that you can download. It'll be like cloud based community upload. Like you can create a mapping for a game for the controller and then mm -hmm. download. I, I got to think that's really important for older games and stuff like that. And then my other hope is that like somebody. Like the community somehow settles on a like a standard mapping that works, you know that that really people can adapt to. Because I I look at that thing and I think about what I want to do and man, there's a lot of complexity in that. I just I'm, I don't know.